autosave is on because mine wasn't and I almost fucking clicked the button. I only alt tab on though if I'm if I've pressed escape for a menu. Oh no, it wasn't that. It was the fact that I got in and out and the master safe was on when I got out. When I got back in, it wasn't. Nice. So if I'd have clicked my mouse, I might have fired a rocket into that poor man in front of us. Okay, so how much is two hundred and thirty gallons? Two hundred and thirty gallons. Because on the website I'm looking at it says with an external fuel tank of 230 gallons, which is uh, fucking where was it? 870 liters. Its range is 1.9 k's. 1.9 thousand kilometers. Oh, I was going to say 1.9 k is like not even two clicks. That can't be right. Yeah, 2,000 kilometers is about right from what I'm reading on Wikipedia. So. But that, is that a ferry range or combat range? Because ferry range is different to combat. I would, so this is with external fuel tanks. Well, internal and external fuel tanks. So yeah, that would be the range. ferry range. Then that's when they move it from like point to point. Yeah, and just, combat uh, range transport. is about 400 clicks. Yeah. So a combat range, 480 kilometers. That's just on internal fuel, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, so let's say 450, because we've got to leave some for landing and taking off etc so combat range 450 clicks based on that you can have uh what do you say the number was for gallons fuel consumption is 1.3 kilometers per liter 1.3 kilometers per that's actually pretty good really when you think about it like it's powering two uh two engines with like what is it how many horsepower and this is this is specifically the d that's like 2,000 horsepower each engine, so that's 4,000 horsepower off of one litre. That sounds really fucking good. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. How much does a litre of aviation fuel cost? <laughs> Let's find out. What type of fuel would... This is how you get on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to buy some fuel for an Apache, please. Just one litre. No more, no less. Combat helicopter fuel. There we go. Emission characteristics for military helicopter engines. Now, this is a scientific article. The proper fucking journal. Uh -huh. So you won't end up on a watch list then. Let's see here. Okay, standard military JP-8 fuel. Whatever that means, JP-8 fuel cost. 3.73 liters a gallon, uh, which is what again? 3.7 liters. So basically, they're paying a dollar a liter. That's so not a that dollar, fucking bad. So if you fly this thing for one kilometer, it costs you one dollar. Just just in fuel. In fuel. That's not that bad. So a thousand dollars for a thousand kilometers, basically. And the ferry range was what? Uh, so one thousand eight hundred ninety-six. So. Call it one thousand eight hundred. So one thousand eight hundred dollars will fire this thing from point A to point B. That's the, yeah, that's pretty good. I would say so. It is jet fuel though. So yeah, which is more expensive than standard petrol. So well, I don't know if it is if it's military buying it because they obviously buy it in bulk. So would it be working out more expensive to buy that than petrol? Let's see here. Kerosene based fuel. Isn't kerosene like cheap as shit? Yeah. Um, I, think, I think it's cheaper than petrol, yeah. Well, it's definitely cheaper than petrol because if it was. If it was. Um, if you came down to buying it over the counter, as it were, like you can get like kerosene lamp fuel for pretty cheap. So. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely cheaper than petrol. I'm 
actually quite surprised.